Hey guys, it's me, back with another video. Y'all, okay, let me do my grace. God is good, God is great. Thank you for the food we eat. Lord bless those that do not have any. If it be anything that's food to do our bodies any hurt, harm, or danger, I ask in the name of most high for protection. Amen, amen. Lord, watch over all my ocean beauties, my followers, uh, my kings and my queens and my people all over this blessed world, Lord. I ask you that you order their footsteps as they go along in life, not only today, in life. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Let the church say amen. Y'all, I don't play with God, y'all. I'm just sometimes be get a little goofy. Y'all, but today, over here, see over here, I got me some nachos, some chicken, uh, chicken nachos. Tacos, nachos. Y'all, I couldn't decide what I wanted because I had a taste for checkers, too. So I got me some some chicken strips from Checkers and got me a uh, water. So y'all, I'm gonna um, dive right in. Y'all, 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 y'all. I got some. My Doritos are uh, the sweet and spicy ones. Uh, that ain't what I want to do. That's what I want to do. This is what I want to do, want to do. And then instead of using the, actually they supposed to be tacos, y'all. Instead of using the shells, though, today I'm gonna be using lettuce. Yep, I'm gonna be using lettuce. And, um, hmm. I forgot my cheese. Can you give me the cheese out of the refrigerator? The shredded cheese. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot my cheese. I know some kept looking like some. My my tacos kind of look naked. They should be in that drawer. Mm. Yeah, I knew there was something was missing. Thank you. That's my niece, my grandbaby. I'm talking about my niece. Y'all, I forgot my cheese. I'm sorry. Where checkers? Hmm. Yeah, some checkers chicken. I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat. Okay, y'all. Now, let's do this one more time. Put some cheese on there this time, though. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I got some cheese on there this time. Now look at it. Mmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Your heart so down. Y'all breathing so fast. Hey, you bite the inside of your mouth. That stuff hurt. That shit hurt. My bite was too soft. Y'all, this wacky Wednesday. I don't know what to eat. I'm eating. Uh, 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 checkers and nacho. I don't care about none of that.
So yeah, I was telling y'all yesterday about how the Black Panthers went. They told you yesterday how the Black Panthers went and got them young brothers up out of them, as they used to call it back in the day, the pig pen. So, everybody to safely back with their family. Um, they continue to go work, go to work, but they gave them a pass. What they should have did in the first place, they gave them these little passes. So when you get stopped, you show them this the pass. As long as you could prove that's where you was coming from, you was good. They just did that shit in the first place. But no, they wanted to go around the corner, jump out the window, and just get to messing with folks and everything. But anyway, y'all, I'm acting silly. Anyway, they give them the cars and stuff so the people can continue to go to work and you know, like I said, people had their families to take care of. And it was sad that Martin Luther King was gunned down like that for doing something good. For doing something good, this man was gunned down and taken away from his family, his children, his wife, for trying to make life better for somebody other than himself. And they gunned this man down. And it was sad. Because no matter what they did to him, he always talked about keeping the peace. I don't know how many of y'all are from Milwaukee, but we have a park here back in the day, way back in the day. We had a park here called Garfield Park. Whenever the performers, the black entertainers, would come, like Chuck Berry, um, The Temptations, uh, the OJs, all of them, Dicker, they performed at Garfield Park on the stage outside. And the park be packed and people be having a ball. You had to worry about nobody pulling out no gun and none of that. The kids were safe. Everybody watched everybody's kids. You know, we you knew that no kid was supposed to be leaving the park alone. And, they you know, some kids tried to stop them. They had the exits blocked off. Wasn't none of that happening. And when you wasn't coming in unless, you know, you were supposed to be there, basically. But James Brown and all of them came there. Martin Luther King, all of them went there. First time I ever seen him in person was at Garfield Park. But like I said, I was a kid. So all that wasn't important. Not realizing that you're in the midst of history being made. So. But we all would gather and go to Garfield Park. Black Panther, Black Panther sponsored. We'll go to Garfield Park. They had the ice skating rink there. It's on Third and Third and Burley. Um, in the winter, we didn't have to go all the way to Oak Creek. And all of them different places. To go ahead, go ice cream and have a nice time. You had one right there in the heart of the center, in the heart of the city. Every year, every winter. Parents knew where to find their children and all of that. Oh, they right up there at the park. When they said they was serving hot chocolate, 
that's that's what they meant, y'all. They wasn't putting nothing in the kids' drinks or nothing. It was purely hot chocolate. Might get a couple of marshmallows or something. But that's what it was. Y'all, these are my tacos, and they taste so good. Mm. Um, time went on. We got bigger. The days got longer. And we appreciate each other. We go to the go to the parks and stuff with the family. You see the family had a blanket spread it out. Had a blanket spread it out. They had a little lunch. They could live right across the street from the park, but they that was their time that they spent with their kids. That was the time that they spent with their kids, y'all. Y'all, excuse me, my daughter calling me. Something must be wrong. Hello, what's going on? Why? Okay. Just bring me my bring my paper. Yeah. All right. Yeah, y'all. That's what that's all finna tell y'all. Sorry about that. But um, I just renewed my passport, y'all. Hmm. Y'all, I just renewed my passport. Y'all know I got to get back across them waters. See what's going on. Got to go see about my little place. And look for me some land, too. I want, like, maybe an acre and a half so I can build my little, my place. Y'all, when I move there, this is a whole nother story, so I ain't gonna even start there. But we don't wanna talk about that too. The kings and queens, the real kings and queens of Africa. The real story. Say so you why you learning a little, little bit of his story, learn your story, the real story. Y'all know this ain't the black history that y'all planned on, but this is what I feel. God is good. He's amazing. He's almighty and he's loving. Water is off the chair. Dang. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm just eating. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's not chicken. It's a sauce on them. I'm so sorry, y'all. So, that's how we be families. Chilling at the park. Got their little transistor radios. They blankets, check out blankets. The babies. Bottles if necessary. And you know they had them some spirits. They definitely had them some spirits. But they chill with their kids. They put in time with kids. I know y'all said this lady. All this lady talk about is kids. Y'all, that's because I'm a grandmother and a great-grandma. And that's what God put on my heart to talk about. I feel like, uh-oh, I dropped my mater, y'all. I want my mater.
I'm an advocate for kids. Mm. So, in the summer, you know, in your work to live in that area, every Sunday, catch them at the park. Doing a picnic. Doing a picnic. So, and people was more attentive to your kids back then. They were more attentive to the kids. You ain't been gonna be right here breaking and so and so how? Cause. Uh, if they catch you, they ain't got to be your mama or your daddy. They ain't got to catch you. They can find out you was the one. They ain't going to get no police. They going to get a belt. Nowadays, we involve the police in every damn thing. Back then, mm -mm, police. Police ain't none of your daddy or your mama. That's us. That's them. They weren't going to get no police. They were going to get a belt. I promise you, they were going to use it. You would know not to touch nobody's stuff. That's black history. That's back when daddies was daddies and mamas was mamas. That's the days I'm talking about. When they started this welfare stuff, it was welfare for it was W-2. They were forcing people, cornering people off to get on that. That was so they could control them, control what they were spending. Girl, I keep, I'm so used to talking to my girlfriend. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Back in the day, when the ladies... When the family had the house, I say the ladies, because it was mainly geared toward single mothers. But they, you fall low. Everybody fall a little short sometime. Fall short and um, they go apply for this welfare that they got. My mama wasn't going. Look what happened. And this is history. This is the way it used to be. Once you get on there, once a month, a worker is coming to your house. That ain't the problem. The problem was the worker come to your house, you can't have no coffee pot, no toaster, no microwave. I don't even know if they had invented microwave back. I'm sure they had microwaves, blenders, electric can openers, um, nice stove, uh, refrigerator. You couldn't have none of that. All that was considered air conditioning. All that was considered luxury when they put the people on the welfare. All that was considered luxury. If they come to your house, they better not see that shit because if they see that shit, they gonna want you to sell it, live off the money you get from it, then come back to them. That's how that shit worked. And anybody who was back then, y'all know I ain't lying. That's how it worked. I remember one time, y'all, and not putting our business out there, but I remember one time my mama wouldn't apply for this. And when they told her that the lady was coming out, my mama thinks she just coming out to sign the papers and stuff like that. She coming out to look through, to sign the papers, but to look through my mama's house too. When I say look through, they want to look in the closets, in the drawers, under the bed, any place somebody can hide something or somebody. When my mama saw that shit, 
the lady went to go in her closet. And when you don't mess with my mama's closet, she had a lot of shit in that closet. You don't mess with the closet. And we knew that. That heifer went to touch that closet and my mama went off. Now, my mama didn't have no man hiding in there or nothing like that. It was just an idea. She went off. She told the lady, look, all this ain't finna jump off. You're not finna be rambling through my shit. Now, I don't know what you're looking for, but you ain't finna be rambling through my shit. The lady was trying to talk to her. While the lady was talking, my mama was packing the lady's shit up and, and walking her ass to that door. Little white lady, I'll never forget it. Walked her ass to that door and told her, I don't need nothing y'all got. And the next morning, my mama one night only got one job. She got two. And she worked them suckers. Let me tell you, we didn't want for nothing. We lived good, but wasn't no welfare jumping off. Now they calling it W-2. So welfare is history. Welfare is history. I'm telling you, y'all, the, the way they try, and they did that too. I feel like it was designed to, to destroy the families. Because if your daddy was in the home, he went on a welfare check too with y'all. So now they monitor him and telling him what he can and can't do, what he can and can't buy his kids. Designed to destroy the home. The mama wanted for the kids, and he do too. But he a man, and he don't want nobody dictating to him how to take care of his family. Basically, degrade them. And my mama just wasn't having it. She wasn't having it. Okay, y'all, once again, I went over my time, y'all. I love talking to y'all. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. I need for y'all to like, share, and subscribe my video. Y'all know I can talk of the storm. But like, share, and subscribe my video. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me some, Drop me some comments down. Ooh, y'all, I think I'm getting full. But drop me some comments down in the box, y'all. Tell me how y'all childhood was. Mine date, out, mine date back, way back. The 1900s, baby. I remember all them fellas. Kennedy, King, Al Shopton. The Black Panther Party, some of them is dead and gone, some of them still alive. But y'all, the Black Panther Party it wasn't nothing like it was when I was in it. When, back in the day, they were strong. They were some strong brothers and sisters, and they didn't play. So we need to try to get back there. But y'all, remember I love y'all, all my ocean beauties, my kings, my queens, uh, my followers, my people all over this blessed world. I love y'all. So much. And y'all, yes, I did re uh, renew my passport. And yes, I am going to Jamaica. And when I go, I'm going to tell y'all, I already done set the trip. I'll be going to Jamaica. I ain't going to tell y'all when, but I'm going to tell y'all as we go along, okay? So remember, if you ain't got something kind to say to somebody to make uh, make their day or send them on their way, y'all. Y'all know y'all got to come on, y'all. Y'all got to be kind of one of us up all this bullshit. But come on, y'all. Uh, if you don't, if you ain't got some kind of say to a brother, a sister, a king, a queen, y'all, please keep your opinion to your damn self. I'm out.